Not good, guys. Not good at all. My face should be flat right now from getting steamrolled. That's right, I got smoked. I got freaking smoked today. Whew. Now, that might be a bit dramatic. Was it the worst loss I've ever taken in my trading career? Hell no, not even close. Did I blow up? No, no, not at all. The loss isn't really that much. In fact, I'll probably make it back tomorrow or the following day. I think I'm just more upset on the way the whole thing went down. And to be honest with you guys, man, it left a bad taste in my mouth. It stings. It left a mark. And I think it's going to do that for the rest of the day until tomorrow. But we're going to talk about it. And that's why I do these market mutterings is to share with you guys the day-to-day -day triumphs, tribulations, and the journey of a professional trader. Like I said so many times before, you know, we're human too. It's not that bullshit that you see out there on social media where people think it's all about sports cars, models, one-hour work shift, $5,000 winning days, $1 losing days. That's that's just garbage. We, we go through the same things that you do. I'm the same person. I was emotionally 20 years ago when I was failing at this I get angry I get frustrated I curmudgeon I get euphoric I get excited I go through the whole gamut of emotions the only thing different is how I react to those now how I sit back know thyself and regroup and get ready for the for the next day and get ready for for the comeback that's that's the only thing different we'll talk about that because I think what happened today is an extremely valuable lesson for all of you guys out there that's trading no matter what level you're on. You will go through this, you have gone through this, you might have just gone through this as well with me, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. So give me, let me give you the official welcome to Stock Market Mutterings, November 1st. So now you ask, Ducky, what happened? Tell us what happened. Let it out, man. Here's your shoulder to cry on. Tell us, man. Tell us what happened. Okay, I'll tell you. As you know, these last few days, not these last few days, this last month, I've been saying we're shorting into strength and possibly buying into weakness. Although we've kind of moved away from buying into weakness because of how the market was. We've been talking about that strategy. It's been working like a charm. Hell, it was awesome all of last month. So we kind of open up today with the same scenario that we have the last couple days. We're gapping up. But now we're gapping up on the third day. So this is like a third day gap up in the market. Some of these stocks have run three days. So I'm thinking, okay, look, maybe this rally this, this is, is a little long in the tooth for the short term. Maybe we'll see a little bit more volatility or some more pullbacks. I should say we've had plenty of volatility. But maybe we'll see some pullbacks here. we got a lot of gap ups. Let's see what happens when the market opens. Market does the exact same thing it's been doing the last couple of days and just starts driving it down you look across the board and you're seeing the big fang names and other tech just getting what i mean waxed like netflix nvidia a couple of these other stocks just getting tortured right at the open with these aggressive sell bars so i do what i've done the the last month and i say what is up on my list who's got the green and i see win at the very top of my list wins up there all nice and green and I'm like, hey, look at when it's up here a couple of bucks. Market's rolling over. I go right into this short. Now, I have a lot of experience trading win. It's been an awesome stock for me. Now, when you look at this daily chart with win, there's no question this thing's in the poop hole. I mean, it's been going down consistently. Even when the market was bullish, this thing, thing's been just going down every single day. And I know this stock well. And like I said, I've done well with it. So, I decide, look, let me get short. I understand there's some news headlines on it, but I, I know when it hardly ever holds. So let me go for it. I'm going for some win. Well, the market starts diving as I had thought it would, but when starts going higher, it starts cranking it on up. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. What the hell? And, like, and it's up a lot too. And I'm like, wind's never up this much, but you know, it's still kind of grinding it on out. So I'm like, well, I'll hang in there for just a little bit longer. And I'll see if the market can take this thing down. Well, it's just kind of flat lines. So when it flat lines, I'm like, well, let me go ahead and add. So I, you know, I always start out with a partial. And I add to the position. And this time it's not that bad. And I'm like pretty close to it. But now I've got size on the trade. And I'm still watching the market kind of pull back, you know, and do its thing. I'm watching Facebook and everything else just bury itself at the lows. And I'm like, Jesus, this thing, what, what the hell? And then all of a sudden, Market turns around and there goes when it just starts rifling on up like it's the stock stock du jour, right? And I'm like, geez, okay, well, that's that. So 
once it starts ripping, I have no choice but to put a stop in it. Because at this point, I've hit my GTFO number. You guys probably know what that is. I get that. I've, I've reached max loss. And not only on a trade, I've reached max loss, my personal rules, max loss for the day, just like that, right out of the gate. And, you know, I'm like, damn, look at when, right? And then off it goes, right? So that was that was my day right there. So, and let's talk about the, the lessons in this, okay? Because there's a lot, and I think you guys go through this, and I'll break it down for you because there's a couple. The first that we're going to talk about is that constant battle as a trader between logic and reality because we often find ourselves in this. And the logic is you, you know, you, you think logical about the market. You try to put two and two together, but when it comes to the market, two and two doesn't always equal four. By no means. The market's irrational, its behavior can be erratic, and it's it's never logical in the way it's thinking. Hell, you have stocks that have blowout earnings and they go down, you have stocks that miss earnings and go up. I mean, you just you just never know what you're gonna get. So in in this case, logic is telling me, A, when is garbage when has been garbage this thing has has been going down every damn day f since april right and you look at the daily chart just look at it it's just been going down and down and then i noticed that it's up eleven dollars or something throughout the day and like when hasn't had a bullish day like that since the beginning of the year so i could have shorted this thing any day any other day of the year but today but to, this is the absolute worst day all year to try to pull a stunt like this, right? That's the logical way of thinking. And of course, logic would tell you it probably won't last either, depending on how their earnings work out. So when you think logically like that, it often, it often disconnects you from the reality. Because even though all of that may be true, yes, the stock is garbage. Yes, the stock has been going down. No, it does not deserve to be up this much on the news that it has, right? It's not worthy of this by any means. It always fades. Why is it not fading now? That doesn't justify the reality because the reality is, well, it's going up, right? And see, that's something that we don't have control over. I can, I can bitch and moan and complain all about it that I want, but the truth is like, okay, you're, you win, win wins today because people are buying it and there's nothing I can, I, I can't stop this train. There's not, I have, I'm powerless to it. So that's like your first lesson in there is that we often, when things start working against us, we try to convince ourselves by using logic, right? Other than looking at reality, because I can make a thousand excuses for how stupid of a move this is on win, right? I can easily do that. I can bitch about this all night too. I'm still bitching about it somewhat, but that does not disguise the fact or hide the fact that the damn thing did go up $12 and it, it freaking held. So, you know, that, that's the reality. So, I, I stopped out. And the second part of this where the lesson is, is at the time you will often tell yourself you do not want to stomach that loss. You just, you don't, you don't want to take it. You just, you just don't. Maybe it's part of that logic thing. You're fighting with it and you say, it's going to have to come. It has to come down. Remember, it doesn't have to do anything. Or maybe you've had familiar familiarity with the name and you love the name and you're like, it doesn't make sense. You're not the same person, I, same stock I once knew, the same behavior I once knew. Maybe it's a, a, a situation like that. But it's a good thing that I, I tapped out because I tapped out at freaking 106 and I was upset and pissed off and thought it was bad then. The damn thing went to 130. So if I would have kept it, I would like, you talk about smoked, you would have been like roasted barbecued on like one of those smoker grills. They would have just spun me around all day and crisped me, you know, until I was like fried. I mean, that that's just a gnarly, gnarly move. So, you know, the, the second lesson there is at the time you may think it's not such a good idea, but that's the way it goes. And then the third, of course, is you set these rules for yourself. I think the real frustration in this is that it hit my daily max. Every, every trader should have this. You guys should have this. You have a, a daily trade loss and a daily losing max. And I hit that right out early. And this is probably the first time in half a decade I've been tapped out 
that early. Now, the reason that you have this in place, and every trader varies, but I want you to kind of understand it because some traders are going to look at this differently, but I want to explain my side and what's got, got me to where I am with the rules that I have. And, and that is that, you know, when you, when you have this, these rules in place, it's to protect you from you, from yourself and the things that you do. So at this point, being tapped out early and losing on this trade, there's one thing that I know about me. Now, you might be different in your chemical makeup as a human being, but for me, what I understand is at this level, I am, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm pissed off. Because when never does this and when doesn't do this to me, right? I'm feeling that way. And I know that, but it's the reality and I have to take the loss because I have rules and I have to go by that. So yes, when wins this, this round and I'm angry. Now I know when I'm in that state because I'm, I'm bubbling and, and I've had, like I've had losses bigger than this that haven't uh, affected me. Maybe it's other things or the constant grind. Sometimes things just pick Pick, pick, pick you at the wrong times, you know, just, you just crack all of a sudden, right? So you're like driving down the road, people pull out in front of you all the time, but then one moron does it and you're like, ah, oh, you son of a bitch, right? You just, you just snap like that. So I reached this level where I was seriously angry. Now I know when I get to that level, I'm no longer, a, I'm not a trader, I'm an idiot. And I know for a fact, through decades of experience. If I try to go back in there and trade, if I try to go back and get his money again, you think you are mad now. You're going to take that loss and probably double it. You're going to be seriously pissed off. So I just walked away. Now it's been a long, long, long time since I've walked out on the day. Seriously, it must be, uh, gosh, maybe a decade. You know, it's like a half a decade since I've been angry like that, but probably a full decade since I just got up and walked. I just told everybody in the room, look, I apologize, but, uh, you know, uh-uh, because all I'm going to do, because it really got to the point where it was, it was like, I don't even want to see. You guys have been in that position. I don't want to see stocks. I'm sure you've been in that position. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to hear about them. I walked out the door. I went to the mall. I bought some stuff some comfort things from myself. I'm like, I don't even want to know about, they could close the damn stock market for all I care. So when we're talking about these lessons, look, you, you guys go, again, this is why I do this, is to share with you that real journey of what a trader lives with. Not the stuff that you, like I said before, that you're being perceived with on social media, these one hour work shifts and easy living. It's a great job, yes it is, but it also has its downfalls. And we go through those same very things as well. So when you're first looking at it, remember number one here was logic versus reality. You can make up all the logic. You can try to justify every single market move and whether this should happen or that should happen. Man, that's not, that's not the reality of it. You know, when shouldn't be here. I know this. I told you that it's stupid for when I don't care what it, you know, unless it's earnings blowout. I do not care. It, it is what it is. It did what it did. What am I supposed to do? I can't stop it. My, my shares are not big enough to stop this. I can't make it stop. So therefore, that's it. You know, that, that, that's the way it is. So remember, not always logic. The charts tell you when you reach that level, you have to, you have to stop. And that's, that's the second part. You reach that level, you stop. You have to stop because at that point your trading is not good enough that day. Remember, maybe it, you'll, you know, the market will be open tomorrow the next day, right? It's not going to close. I wish it would today. So there'll be better opportunities. There'll be better days. You don't have to fight this right now. So even though it sucks sometimes to take that loss, I mean, look what it did for me. I mean, like, like, like I said, I stopped at 106 and it was bad right then. I mean, what would I be like at 114 or 113, you know, and holding this bag overnight saying, holy God, this is going to kick my ass tomorrow. What if it gaps up and runs tomorrow? Then I'm really scared. Then I'm just fighting this thing and that few thousand dollar loss would turn into maybe a five figure loss or, you know, e even more. So you, you've got to set those rules for yourself. And that's what they're there for. They're to protect you. And that's the last piece of the lesson is knowing thy self. Maybe there's some traders out there that would be able to take a deep breath, do some yoga, maybe drink some wheat grass juice. You're cool, right? You're back on the horse trading again. Maybe that's you. That's not me. Not today. Most of the time I'm pretty good with it. I can keep my composure. I've been real good with that. Very good with that. But every once in a while, shit pisses me off.
right? Excuse my language. Just, hey, it makes me mad. And this rubbed me the wrong way. And I think mostly because it's been a long time since I hit max loss right out of the open. And I'm like, damn, I'm done for the day. All right, well, okay. And I know because, I again, I know me. I know who I am. And I know if I try to go back in and I try to trade right now, I'm going to make a mistake. I'm not at my best, and it's going to get real. There could be the best opportunity in the world. I'll find some way to fudge it up. So the best thing to do is to leave the house, move away from the computers, put it down, you know, go somewhere else, think about this, and then come back and try this tomorrow, right? Go, go back at it tomorrow. Market will be open tomorrow. It's all good. It'll be open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and next week. You're going to be just fine. You've made it back before. Just walk away from this day. So in your trading career, there's battles and wars, you know, and overall throughout the 20 years, you win the war. But today I lost the battle. I've just lost it straight up. Win pulled a good one on me, got the better of me. Maybe a little cockiness in there too. I got spanked around a little bit. Hey, guys, it happens, right? Again, that's why I'm sharing it with you because look, I'm not going to say that, you know, I, I know every single inch move of the market and how it's going to be. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I just wanted to share with you a few of these things. So kind of remember the, those those three things that we talk about, that logic, right? The logic, using stops for yourself, and then sometimes, you know, more importantly, knowing thyself, and sometimes you, you just got to leave. You just, you got to leave. Just walk away, come back another day, live to fight another day. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'd like to say, I guess. Would this be good enough for a shameless plug? Hey, if you want to learn how to trade, come visit the Lincoln List. Click on the Trade Room tab. I'll teach you how to do this. Trust me, most of the time it's good. Tough way to start the month, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be all right. We'll see how things go over the next couple of days. As always, if you just have questions, comments, suggestions, send me an email, support at the Take care, guys. Trade well.